This is Orion's Angel, and this is my review of Atari Vault, developed by Code Mystics and published by Atari. Now, I'm in my early 40s, so this game tugs at my heart because I grew up with all these games like uh, Atari, the arcade games from Atari, and this is very nostalgic to me. So I really love this collection, and let's just get right into it right now. First of all, you have your arcade games like Gravatar, uh, Liberator, Lunar Lander, Major Havoc, Millipede, Missile Command, Pong, Red Baron, Space Duel, Sprint, Super Breakout, they're all here, Tempest, Warlords, Asteroids, all fully emulated perfectly. They all have their backdrops and displays from the arcade. You can rotate each arcade machine so you can look around at the whole machine, which is very cool. Now, I'm not a collector, so this is like the next best thing to having a collection. I mean, obviously it doesn't compare, but it's very cool. We'll start off here with Asteroids. As you see, it's very faithful to the arcade. They even have the, the little glow around the, vec the vector graphics, which is awesome. Each game has options. Uh, you can set the controls. You want to play with the keyboard or the gamepad. Uh, you can even put how many lives you want to start with. Display lets you add um, what kind of display you want. No glow, realistic, standard, resolution, bezel are on or off. Let's play Centipede, one of my favorites back in the day. I used to be awesome at this game on Atari 5200, which had an amazing port of Centipede. Um, you can also check out the gallery, which has art. Um, Flyers, very cool. Let's check out one more here. Pong, the one that started it all. Some games can be played with the analog stick, some can be played with the D pad, depending on the game. Very cool, and there's also multiplayer, which is awesome. Right now, there's not too many people online, but I tried joining a few games, see if it works now. And here we go, I'm online. Okay, he's obviously, oh, he's obviously the left paddle, I'm the right paddle. Whoa, this is, he must have it set on hard. Whoa, here we go. Okay, this is pretty cool. I'm playing Pong online. All right, very cool. <laughs> I'm not really doing anything and he's losing. Okay, there we go. So this is cool being able to play these retro games online. Right now, like I said earlier, there's not that many people there, but still very cool and then you can leave yeah I had to rage quit <laughs> uh, I'll check Tempest which is an absolute classic Obviously, some of these games um, don't translate very well in the controls. Like, this used to use a knob that you would turn. It's harder to control with an analog stick. 
The arcade collection also has a leaderboard, so you can compete with people around the world. Then of course we have our Atari home games. Basketball, bowling, breakout, they're all here. Centipede, all faithfully ported, perfectly emulated. I'm so glad they included Sword Quest series in the set because Sword Quest is one of my favorite games on Atari. Some games don't work well without their original controller. Super Breakout comes to mind which used to use a paddle controller. Controlling the game with the analog stick is near impossible. You can control it with the mouse, but depending on your mouse, it might not work so well either. The collection also includes some unreleased titles like Combat 2, Return to Haunted House, and Save Mary. You'll be able to identify these titles because there's nothing on the back of the boxes. List selection shows you what games you recently played, lets you find all the games in alphabetical order or by category. There's also an option screen to change different things in the game like add more lives, choose when enemies appear, or change from black and white to color TV. It depends on the game. Another cool option is being able to select between menu and classic. Classic adds a little Atari selection screen at the bottom using the real console which is very cool. This is more of a hassle of course because you have to go through each uh, selection to choose what you want to do just like the real Atari. The menu makes it just more convenient. Still it's cool to have this. Each game lets you browse through the original scanned manual which is very cool. You can even zoom. I really appreciate all the work that went into this collection. Every box was nicely scanned and all the details there, creases and all. Overall this is a great collection. If I had any complaint is I wish it had the Activision games. So I'm hoping they make a sequel, Atari Vault 2 or maybe Atari Vault 3, and we get more of the classic Atari games. But for right now, this is a great start and a must buy for Atari collectors out there who want a nice compilation of some of the best early Atari games. This is Orion's Angel and I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Later guys.